Hi there. My name is Kelly Cameron of Kelly's Color Studio. And I put my apron up here. I thought, what better way to advertise and get people to remember the name Kelly's Color Studio? I have a little story to share with you today about Stencil Girl stencils about the process I went through to get some stencils made and I've had a lot of people ask so I thought this would be a good way to share the information once and for all and then I can just share a link if somebody wants to know. I am over the moon with this whole experience. It's been just phenomenal. I'm a self-taught mixed media artist. I've been an artist most all my life and lately I've had a lot of great things happening and this is one of those exciting things that I'm most happy about and I just want to share it with you. I stumbled across mineral paper. This is the very beginning of the whole thing. I've never heard of mineral paper. This says made from rocks, not trees. For water-based or dry media, bright white vellum surface, acid-free. Did some search, searching and, and research online and found out that this paper also has a little bit of um, now, now the word's going to leave me, of course. It's got a little bit of plastic in it. It's, it's got like a, oh, the words just completely left me. And that's the way this goes. You know, under pressure, you can't think of a word. There we go. All right, I'll think of it in a minute. Anyway, it's got some plastic in it. So <clears throat> that makes it really an, an interesting surface. It's smooth and it feels pliable and durable, but it's thin. It's very velvety like and I thought you know what wouldn't it be fun what if using my what if or what if I took some of this paper and cut my own stencils and hmm so I did I did I I bought some I just just by chance had purchased some of these oh hoo watercolor brush pens now there's there's lots of different oh hoo pens but you have to get the ones with the black barrel and they have to say watercolor pen they're really juicy. Um, they go onto anything you're going to paint or color really well. Uh, they have a nice detail, nice point for detail. I don't know if you can see there. I'm a little out of focus, but anyway, you can see how pointed it is. It's very much like painting with watercolors. The colors are phenomenal. So I bought these, and I found that I could make designs like this on the mineral paper with little to no effort at all. It was just so easy to do and if I made a mistake the neat thing about this vinyl that's the word this mineral paper has a little vinyl in it so if you make a mistake with watercolor or watercolor brush pens you can just take a wet paper towel or a wet q-tip and just dab it up and the paper's white again so it's very easy to draw your own designs and then clean up your mistakes if you need to edit you can do that and this is one of the first ones I did this stencil and it's only black because I painted it black um, to get a photo earlier um, but this is the vinyl paper see it's very soft and kind of floppy and these are some of the prints I made with this stencil the homemade one and I just fell in love with this look at these look at this this is like stained glass to me and here's one that's not so exciting but still I love the just the the sh these shapes just speak to me. Here's a beautiful uh, turquoise and gold. Here's, look, this is on craft paper, okay? And this is turquoise and then orange, and then I sealed it with some, um, like an acrylic satin sealer. And I'm going to use this in collaging and stuff. <clears throat> so that was exciting. And then, keeping the story rolling along, I made this stencil. I made several. Uh, this one may have been the first or second one I actually did, and this is the second. So I have basically three designs here that are that are going to be featured in the rest of this video. So these are the three designs you want to remember. Um, this one I think is called Dragonfire. This one is called Waterfall, I think, and this one is called O. Velocity. In other words, O-Velocity. Say it quickly, right? <laughs> Two words, but say it quickly. Okay, so there's prints. These are some of the, there's the stencil waterfall. And again, you can see how thin this is. And it almost feels like a fabric in a way. It's so, it's so funny how this feels and everything. There's Dragonfire. 
that's one that I made. And I, I drew all of these designs with the Ohuhu watercolor brush pens and then cut them with an X-Acto knife, just a regular X-Acto knife on a self-healing cutting mat. Here's one that I've done that's, I've stenciled with it some, but it hasn't gone beyond that. This I like this with the circles. It's kind of fun. Here's one that's just some sort of a vintage feel with some rounded geometrics. Here's a crazy circle one. And I'll tell you what, cutting these things out, <laughs> it's time consuming, but it's it's oddly satisfying too because the X-Acto blade goes right through this paper just like it's butter. Now, this is not extremely durable for printing. When you see I have to, how I have to handle these with care and I've got paper in between each one because if you don't put something between them and you store them, when you pull them apart, they're gonna stick to each other and they're gonna wanna tear. Once they get paint on them, they're wanting to tear. But these are just some that I've made that I've had a lot of fun playing with. They're part of my little collection here. And I went to the to the jelly plate printing. There's two jelly plate printing groups that I belong to, and I've really enjoyed sharing ideas on those. And I went and shared some of these, and everybody said, you should submit these to Stencil Girl. I bet they would make stencils. And other people sent me messages like, where can I buy this? Where did you get that stencil? And the oval one, O-Velocity, that's the one that really drew a lot of inquiries and stuff. Um, okay, I'll stop that story to say <laughs> this one I, This one is like potatoes to me. It just looks like potatoes, but I love the big circles. And the rest of these that I'll show you here, there's two here that I've, that I've drawn. These are not cut yet. They're just drawn. But you see, this is something I'm really into. I'm a doodler, okay? So <clears throat> I'll stop. I'll, I'll get back to my story now. I'm finished with the show and tell from this book and I will leave I will leave this out and this out because I want to show you something in a minute so anyway I thought mm, stencil girl I don't know I had looked at their stuff um their process for submission some years ago and I could not quote unquote tick all the boxes you know I couldn't I didn't have some of the qualifications that they required and I, I never did revisit it but the response that I got from this was so overwhelming in the group that I decided, okay, I'm going to check it out. So I emailed, I went to their website, stencilgirl.com, I think it is, and I looked at their product and I looked around their site for a way to find out what their process is for applying to submit a design. And I couldn't really find one, so I emailed them and said, hey, you know, I've made these stencils and they're going over really well and I'd like to do something with them and I wondered if you guys would like them and you know can I can I submit them can I be part of your process you know what what do I do and so they emailed me back and said yeah here's our little application and we want you you have to fill this out and read about it and so they sent me the process so I jumped through all the hoops and did all the things and I was able to meet all of the requirements I think it was Anyway, everything was very well received, and they sent me back about a week later a contract and a 1099 and said, let's let's sell these, you know, so yay, whoa, you could have knocked me over with a feather. So I fine-tuned the drawings and sent them more official, neater draw. I took photos of these, I painted them black, we did this, I took a photo, inverted them, we sent them the photos, and they made these three stencils and they have mailed me prototypes to try out and make samples with and do a demo or a video of these stencils and to share with you what they're selling now which are my designs i feel so honored and excited this has really been just huge fun for me and i love this is my favorite of all of them right now this is my absolute favorite and i cannot wait to open this package that i received in the mail this morning Yes, I'm sharing this with you. I have not opened this yet. I did mark out my address just for, you know. So, you know, this has been in the mail all week. These are supposed to be prototypes of those three stencils that I showed you. And we're supposed to, I don't know what I'm getting in here now. You know, I may have to. <laughs> this is exciting. I am so excited to share this with you and to see my, my designs as actual stencils look. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay.
Okay, here they are. Let's look. Oh my gosh. I feel so grown up. Like, look at there. This is really, really. Let me get a white. Let's put this back down. No, we need color, don't we? Let me get a piece of colored paper to put under there so that you can see as well as I can. Let's see. I was unprepared for class. Let's see red. Can you see that? Wow. What a great job they did of honoring my design. I mean, it's really, it's really exactly what I drew. It's spot on. I'm so impressed. And I feel really honored and excited. But I'm so glad I could share this with you. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, let's put this one aside and look at the next one. Here's the dragon fire. Wow, this is really neat. I love that they were able to really duplicate my design. They didn't alter it so, so that it's so different I wouldn't recognize it or it's exactly what I submitted. This is cool. I'm impressed. Here's Ovelocity. Look at it. It's just like, it's just like my drawing. Let's see. Let me, let's do this. Okay, this is actually the way that this, well, I could turn this over, let's do that. Okay, so here's that. And I'm so, look at this. I mean, this is exactly what I drew. There's not, there's no discrepancies here. I mean, they, they really have done it exactly like I had it. I'm so impressed. I'm so impressed. And they did put, I see they've put a bridge here on this very thin part, which I'm glad. That was a mistake on my part, and, I, and they caught that and connected it. And, a, you know, an island is the middle part, like of the letter A, the circle in the middle is an island, what they call. And if you don't make a little bridge to connect it, then when you do the A, it'll just fall out. So you have to have what they call islands and bridges. And I'm just call me super impressed. I'm just super, super impressed. Definitely, I cannot wait. Now today I will be making samples with these to share with you guys um, on their website when these come up for sale. Um, I'm supposed to try these out, see how they work, and let them know, send them samples and whatnot, and then they will announce a release date for these to be available for purchase, and I will share that with you too. Um, and then go out and buy some stencils. I want you to see this. If I can hold it so you can see it. See how it says O Velocity? <laughs> That's what I called it. I originally wanted to call it O V A L O C I T Y, O Velocity. And some people had some trouble, like they were calling it Oval City and that kind of thing. So I named it O Velocity. How funny is that? I love words words like that and puns and, and word games. So that just made me really happy too. So that's my news. We have stencils and and we feel important and special and it's quite a feeling to see your design all grown up and ready to go to work for other people and to know that other people like it. That's a really good feeling too. Um, I'm not wanting to toot my own horn. I'm just so excited I can hardly stand it and I know that the people that liked this stencil will be super thrilled to know that it's forthcoming. So um, stay tuned to my little YouTube channel here that I'm just starting up. If you'll subscribe, I'm going to try to bring up some more videos about the stenciling and the whole process here with Stencil Girl. Um, and, you know, check check their website for other really great stencils. There's other other artists that, that do their... Um, stencils they're you know all their stencils are made by artists who create their own designs and there's a lot of really neat stuff in there i've had a lot of fun looking through those myself so 
anyway, I want to thank you for tuning in. Please subscribe. I'm going to try to build up my YouTube channel and, and do more with it. Um, and there'll be other things on there too eventually. But right now it's all about the stencils. So I want to thank you. Appreciate you tuning in. Appreciate your your being here, uh, being part of my process. And uh, we'll see you again soon. Signing off.